Welcome back into Nations Cup. We are here in day number one, group A, and we are getting into our third best of three of the day. On the left-hand side, you have Germany, Team Germany, and on the right is going to be Austria, or Team Austria, which I've been kind of jumping in between the two terms. As we always do for all of these games, let's explain how the draft system works here for Nations Cup. It's very similar if you are familiar to Meta Madness. There are no permabans. Uh, I've heard, I think the uh, Cross the Admin said that there was talks about maybe doing permabans for, like, the LAN or something, but I don't think there's any for the... Uh, the group, the, um, the first qualifier. That's what we're in right now. We're in the first qualifier for EU. Of the 16 teams, 8 teams will move on to the second qualifier. From that second quali qualifier, I, I believe the, the top 2 teams from EU go up against the top team from NA and the top team from Asia. So, we'll be, that'll be over in June. If you want more information about it, exclamation Nations Cup, or you can use exclamation bracket to get yourself over to the Wikipedia. Now, draft-wise, as we are playing these best ofs, and for the qualifiers, or for the uh, for the group stage in EU, for the first one, these are all best of threes. So as heroes are picked, they are banned away in the series. So if there is a first pick Genji on Battlefield of Eternity, that means that he will only be playable on this map as the best of three continues. Genji will not be playable on map two or three. So that's just how it works. So by the time we get to map number three, when we start that draft, 20 heroes will be banned away. Uh, through just the pick process. Now, of course, you can ban away other heroes at the top of the screen. That does not add to that list. It only bans them away for that instance or that map. So, for example, Hogger, Anubarak, Hanzo, or Hammer could be played on map number two. We're guaranteed at least two maps here in a best of three, so let's see what happens here as we get a first pick Artanis from the side of Team Germany. Trial version drops 5 7 full of resist, uh sometime during or after late May. Okay. So versus mode we haven't seen since 2000. Ooh, interesting. Well, I'll be uh, I'll be interested to watch it on your stream. I'm assuming you'll be streaming it. In my experience, you get three options with work. Good, cheap, or fast. You can only pick two. I feel like you can only pick one. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have a Li Ming Anduin for the side of Austria. Artanis and what will be the uh, the play from, from Team Germany? We did see them pick up an Artanis in the first best of three they played in. We'll keep it very general if anyone's, you know, watching the VODs out of order. And as I mentioned, all the VODs will go up onto YouTube with spoiler-free additional time if it is necessary. Also, the in-between phases will be edited out, so that way it's just game after game rather than any sort of in-between chatting time while we're waiting for lobbies. So be sure to uh, subscribe to the YouTube page. I try and upload at least one video a day. Artanis Tahaka Thrall. I really like the draft from, from Team Germany. They just got a well-rounded start. They've got a very bruisery composition, so we'll see if they lean into a healer or if they go five bruisers. We have seen teams do it. I've seen Gilly Shark at Bingo Night go for the uh, the five bruiser composition. On actually, I think it was actually Battlefield of Eternity. So this could be a uh, the direction they go. I actually would love to see if that's if that's what they're leaning into this bruisery composition. Why not get rid of like Malfeel or uh, Tychus? I feel like that might be a really really good uh, ban here. Greymane's not a bad idea either, but I feel like that Tychus uh, percent based damage would be really annoying into a bruisery comp, as that's what it's being built into. Granted, Artanis has got self shielding, dahaka has got healing, Thrall's got healing. They're not Cho'Galling here. There's no way. A hey, Stark. Artanis and Thrall on the same team. Inconceivable! I love that. I love that from Princess Bride, where like the inch, the opening part where he's just like the, the guy's uh, following, and it's just inconceivable. And then the one guy is just like, "You need to find a different word." <laughs> Muradin Imperius. Okay. Also, the builders, devs, workers idea of fast is vastly different than the corp. Corp. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Oh God, Ninja, that is such a truth as well. You've got you've got the CFO who's demanding you to work faster while he's while he's on a golf course chugging beers and and being awkward to to the to the beer cart girl. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm a I'm a CFO for uh, for a company and I and I fuck over all my employees. Would you like to come on my yacht? 
You keep using that word. I don't. Th That's what Tessitus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tessitus. Yes. You keep using that word. I don't think you know what it means. That's that's it. Thank you, Tessitus. I haven't seen Princess Bride in forever, man. It might be a re that might need to be a rewatch soon. I did watch uh, Big Trouble in Little China on my day off. I uh, didn't know what to expect, and I I wasn't expecting an Illidan, nor was I expecting Big Ch like Big Ch Big Trouble in Little Chinatown was good. I just wasn't expecting. I just didn't know what I was getting into. <laughs> Anna's a funny looking bruiser, but uh, yeah, yeah, it works, it works. Start prediction, which team wins? Let me type this up really quickly. Battle, Battlefield of Eternity. I did not spell eternity right at all. I added in way too many eyes. <laughs> all right, so we have team Germany versus Austria. There's your prediction. Hey, listen. Thank you, Ash Mantle. All right, who wins it, Germany or Austria? Turn up my little heater plate. I think we're done with tea for the day. All righty. Wow, Austria believers here. Oh, I like it. People think that Germany would be uh, my. Oh no, nope, never mind. There's eight point six k. Someone put six thousand nine hundred on Germany. Oh, oh, competitive betting. Sorry, we're just waiting for the lobby load in here or the uh, the map load in. God, I need to. I need to. Spectrum's got to fix the upload issues. It's not the worst, but I have dropped thirty nine thousand frames in the two hours we've been streaming. It's a bit much. Easy all in. Nightbot, I want a new house. I mean, who doesn't want a new house? A new house, all my bills to be paid for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my God, that's uh, 61,200 on Germany. Uh, main broadcaster has DC'd. There might be a pause because of that. That actually might be a pause. But let's introduce our players while we are waiting and finding out. As we have the Team Germany. Uh, Hazuab's on the Dahaka. Yeah, there's going to be a pause from the admin. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, we are waiting on the host. Makes sense. It's their tournament. I don't read German, so I don't really know what they're 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 saying to each other. It's minor dribbles of frames. Your audio has been fully clear. Oh, good. Okay. Not my party. Hor, hor off, English zu sprechen. Or off Dutch Uzi Spritchen. Someone just resumed the game? Alright, I guess we're into it. Welcome back into the best of three. On the left hand side, we have uh, Germany. We have Hazuabs on the Dahaka. Nish on the Thrall. Death Knight to play the Ana. Dark Mach on the Alarak. And Dino to play the Artanis. To the right hand side, we are looking at the Austrian team. We have got Sam on the. Imperius, Rosby on the Muradin, Cran on the Anduin, Chris on the, uh, excuse me, on the Li Ming, and uh, Mustika. I think it's how you say their name. On the Illidan, as holy crap. Team Germany comes out the gate swinging for kills. And I think the Imperius doubled back to get a Celestial Charge there. I... I I blinked for a moment and I and I saw them kind of positioning back. So, Dino looking for the swap onto Li Ming. Dino playing very aggressive here. Hey, we got a crash lightning thrall. Any uh any trash lightnings in chat? Any trash lightningers? I do have an emote made just for this. Any trash trash emoters? 
You're playing Li Ming? No, no. They're... Chris is playing Li Ming. I'm Bahamut. Top lane battered assault for the Illidan, pressuring onto Hazoabs, but here comes the Artanis with the rotation up. Is there a drag to land onto the Illidan? This should be a kill, actually, from Dino and Hazoabs. I don't think Illidan backs away out of this. Actually, he does. Wow. Nice man maxing on the Illidan play from Austria as no kill will be had. We've only got one kill so far favoring the side of Germany. Illidan getting dragged. Dark Maw comes up for a combo, but the telekinesis doesn't work out right there. Artanis grabbing camp and top does have the amateur opponent level one. Thrall with a triple root right there, but there's no level four talent to stack up at the time being. Uh, I believe it's a tier two emote, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's a tier two. Mm -hmm. So, we continue to see the Holden bottom lane. Ana with some heals here and there. Thrall is going to go what at level 4? I'm just curious. Dino taking a ton of damage right now. Sam on the Imperius gets leapt away, but it's going to be a Kaimo cleanse as this is a dead Imperius. I'm going to go into the Monotide at level 4, okay? Illidan and top, still getting damage onto the uh, Dahaka. Does have the Hunter's Onslaught for extra healing. Alarak making a rotation up here, as that's going to be a combo. Silence, you're dead. There's no way Illidan lives. I'm sorry, no way that Illidan lives. There's no way Dark Mock. Yeah. There we go. Illidan will take a bit of a dirt nap for a while here as we do have a camp on the right and the left to be grabbed by both sides. Faster to the members of Germany who will start working on the objective phase. Death Knight actually getting some some sustained damage as the Ana. How much damage does Ana even do right now? I'm curious. Hold on. Ana does 38 damage. <laughs> you know what? That's 38 extra damage onto the Immortal. Top lane Fallen Shaman gets into wave, same for bottom, but the fight is going to continue out here. Artanis looking for a phase prism, doesn't land onto an enemy. Li Ming getting arcane orbs out here and there, but won't be able to get the burst or a reset. Hold on, this fight is looking pretty good to Austria, as that will be a Ana kill. A reset for Li Ming, it's a quick triple kill! And a beautiful play from Team Austria, as the show of force will pick up a little more sadism for Dark Muck. And we will have the race going quickly, but look at this, Artanis on the left-hand side. Can they win out this race? Artanis is actually doing some decent damage here, and yeah, uh, no, I don't think they, I don't think they win this. I think with Illidan on point, or excuse me, the Artanis on point, and the Alarak as well. Could not think of the other Protoss. Oh my god, 2007, uh, 2027 difference. But this is Belleth going over to the side, or Alarian going over to the side of Germany. God, my immortal phrasing just does not work out for this map. Dino is looking for a kill here. Sam should die. Illidan was chasing on the left-hand side onto Dark Mock and Ana. Just looking at the Alarak sadism, which was, uh... 10% from... Wait, Alarak didn't die, did he? No, he didn't. Okay, I was like, where did his sadism go? It's from the level 7, where they're reduced by 10%. So he's got uh, he's got 6% now, but he technically actually has 16%. But you have the reduction from level 7, which you cannot earn back. You cannot earn that back. Alarak can max out his sadism at 140%. 30% from the baseline from kills, 20% from show force, and then minus 10% from the level 7. Immortal in bottom lane gets some value. I'm not sure what Death Knight was saying about Artanis right there, but Artanis is doing this. Dino's doing that. I don't know why. I've got to be honest with you, chat. I have no idea why Dino is doing this, but he is. Okay. So, I... I, I don't know why this is happening. <laughs> oh! Oh, that was really good! 
That was so very, I know there's stuff happening in bottom lane, but I can't believe Dino got out. Alarak goes down in bottom. Dino, you are insane. The sheer, oh, I cannot believe Dino lived there. I cannot believe that actually worked out. Granted, Alarak will fall, and that is Sadism set down to 90. It's literally free EXP. Well, I think this is a dead Illidan. Oh wait, does he does he get out alive this time? <laughs> no, no way. All right, that's 3% uh, sadism for the Alarak, I do believe. He should have been close enough for that. We have got the Nano Boost from Ana, Isolation from the Dahaka. We will see Sundering from the Thrall utilized immediately. Counter Strike from the Alarak. And Suppression Pulse from Artanis as Dino does this again. I don't know why he's doing this. Lurk as Chelsea gets ready to demolish to be to get demolished by Real Madrid. I actually it was like 2007 or something like that. I got to see Barcelona versus Real Madrid in Barcelona, I think it was. I don't want to say Barcelona and sound like an American. Uh drag on to Sam here. The Illidan's still chasing in. Thrall is done with Crash Lightning chat. Thrall's Crash Lightning is done, and that actually is a big deal. Wrath of Angiers from Sam will not connect, and now they're out of position, and that Imperius will go down. Thunderstorm from Thrall is my expected pick later on. If this game goes to a level 16. Aye, that's a dead Muradin. So if it goes to level 16, they get Thunderstorm. The priority hits from... Wow. Anduin actually getting saved by Artanis. Ah! Thrall Crash Lightning! Thrall Crash Lightning! Alaric gets a kill. Oh my god. Ana healing coming from afar. The sleep dart from Death Knight was insane right there. Ana gonna try and uh, deny some healing onto Illidan and will be able to do so. You say it like real? You prefer fake Madrid? Is, is it? Well, what? <laughs> oh, isn't it Real? Isn't it Real Madrid? Isn't that actually how you pronounce it? Now that I'm thinking about it, it's not real, it's Real. Chastise from the Anduin, gonna go wide right there, but the Immortal will go to the members of Germany. Nano onto Thrall. He's gonna go ahead and start dropping in some Crash Lightnings. There's some Chain Lightnings here and there. Counter-Strike from Alarak. Light Bomb onto the Anduin. He actually saves himself for the time being. Gets a couple Flash Heals here and there. But Anduin will go down. Imperius to fall. A swap from Artanis is shy of Li Ming, but Illidan will fall once or a after... Okay, by, by Muradin. I was gonna say, he got a, he got a Storm Bolt and he can back away. Haymaker from the Muradin. He's going on a bit of an adventure as Dino goes back to doing Dino things on the mid gate. Oh, Muradin goes down as expected, and a Li Ming is alive. Actually, the Anduins are just now responding as well as Imperius. Death timers are quite short. Big Harma. Harma. Big Harmony Granger energy in chat. It's not real, it's real. <laughs> it's not Copenhagen, it's Copenhagen. <laughs> Bottom lane keep being pushed in by the Immortal. That's quickly gonna be cleared out by a few of the Austrian members. And Thrall is gonna be burned down, but he doesn't actually fall. His health bar dropping low, I mean. Wrath of Angier is going to be shy of Dark Mock. Dino trying to back out of here. Suppression Pulse 
that's also a Sundering from Thrall, but Suppression Pulse won't stop Lee Ming's damage. A Hunt from the Illidan gets the stun. Thrall to fall as well. It's a reset for Lee Ming. Dahaka goes to top to get a top lane fort. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Goodbye, Imperius. Haymaker from the Muradin pushes Dark Mock out of position, but... Dark Mock's kind of fine with the angle that they got bopped into. Hazoab's brush stalks into bottom lane to join in. Does he have Feeding Frenzy 7? He does. Well, 16 to 9. Austria is not out of this, but it is starting to kind of look better and better for Germany. The beginning of the game was quite close, some good plays here and there, but I, I just don't know why did Dino, why you do, why did you do this? What what was the purpose? I heard a nano. Uh, it was nano in preparation to steal away the camp, and yeah, they're they're just gonna they're just gonna say yeah, no thank you. It is a vision denier. It is a vision denier. I will say that. Ah, uh, you're kidding me. Oh, it takes down the well now. Oh, wait, no, that well stays forever. I didn't realize that. I thought it went down. Hunt from the Illidan jumps on to the Artanis. The Stormbolt from Muradin not connecting. Light Bomb will activate the Counter-Strike on the left-hand side. We do have Imperius getting pulled around. The Artanis to be traded for Imperius, leaving getting a reset. Top lane Fallen Shaman will be cleared out by the gate as Illidan is silenced and tried to get a little bit of healing over time. Alarak, how much sadism? He's got 146 sadism, and I don't think he's going to fall anytime soon. There's the Thunderstorm for the Thrall as well. This is a big talent paired with the level 1 Crash Lightning since you have the hero priority for bounces. You think the well is connected to top? I honest to God do not know what it's connected to. Maybe it's connected to the core. <laughs> Our the immortal phase will be at 50% favoring the side of Germany, Austria. Got half a level to go here. Half a level for even talent tier. Uh, they won't get it off a of bottom wave, I don't think. So they're going to try and take down some shielding off the immortal here. Hey chat, why didn't Dino destroy the well? Because he couldn't see that well. Light bomb from the Imperia or from the Artan uh, uh, from the Anduin. We had the suppression pulse from the Artanis. Bit of a split fight right now as the thunderstorm from Thrall is done. He gets a he gets a hit onto one. Yeah, this is a lot of damage into the enemy. As on the left hand side we have Li Ming going down, and uh, they might look for an end here. T uh, Twenty to ten in kills. Artanis pushes up a wave in top, and yeah, I think this is just going to be go core end game. Maybe not. Nope, they're not going to. All right. Glass Cannon Lee Ming at level 13, by the way. We didn't talk about that for a couple levels. Celestial Charge from the Imperius not connecting. Dino gets chunked down, losing about 25% of their HP. Will chastise onto the Alarak. Keep Run Gate will go down. Dahaka is working on the Immortal. Not the race here you typically see, but the Immortal will go into top lane. As the Keep is going to be dropping down to about 50%. Dahaka finishes out the Immortal. There we go. And we'll have uh, Larian in the top lane, favoring the side of Germany. Catapult to be cleared out. Illidan chasing in, looking for some sort of kill. That's going to be a Nano onto the Thrall. Is there a Sundering out from them? Big Suppression Pulse. That's going to be a Wrath of Angiris onto the Artanis. The Sundering from the Thrall does come out. Counter-Strike from uh, the Alarak is going to get some great damage. Hazuop's very low. Li Ming getting great damage in with these Arcane Orbs. She needs a reset here. Illidan actually getting swapped out, and I think he needed that save for that moment. But Thrall gets the kill onto the Imperius with a Chain Lightning. I think this will be Alarak. Oh, no! Thought Alarak was going to be able to set up a kill. Murden Dwarf tossing out. Top lane keep does go down. And yes, it is tied to the top lane keep. As Crush was saying in chat. Actually, it was that one right there. But it doesn't matter. The Immortals on core. Dino and Alarak. Darkmok and Hazuobs. They're not able to take down the Illidan. Okay, there. He does fall. 
This is looking like map number one should go over to the side of Germany. The Immortal very, very strong here. Drag from De Hakon to Li Ming. She goes down. She only died because she took Glass Cannon, not because she was chain CC'd and locked into position. We have a lone Anduin trying to defend the core. Counter-Strike comes out from the Alarak. Actually, it doesn't get activated. But either way, map number one goes over to the side of Germany. 24 to 11, 16 minutes and 16 seconds. Welcome back into map number two of the Nation Cup EU first round qualifiers, and we are in group A, map number two in our third, excuse me, our third best of three of the day. Could be the final map of the day between these uh, teams. I, by the way, there are going to be, there are three best of threes on April 19th, that's tomorrow, Wednesday. There's three on Thursday, three on Friday, there's six on Saturday and Sunday. I will not be awake for the first best of three on Saturday and Sunday because those start at 5 a.m. my time. But I will be getting up early enough to be able to... Uh, I should be able to start the stream by 6.30 at the latest. At least we didn't have to catch up on anything uh, uh, to Morb. That's true. That's very true. That is very, very true. I mean, if you want to kind of understand the post credit scene, you have to catch up on some things here and there, but yeah. Are you a doctor? I am a doctor. <laughs> such a stupid movie. Oh God, such a bad movie. I am curious, I, I, I am curious as to why, of all the movies, the new Ant-Man movie is like, it's not getting a release date on streaming services. It's just kind of like, you can't rent it. Like, was the new Ant-Man super bad or something? I don't know, like, usually when, when, when a movie company's like, not trying to release it, it makes me feel like there's something really bad about it, that they're just like, eee, we did this didn't go over very well. I don't know. Anyways, let's talk about the draft here. We are in map number two. We're going to Dragonshire. Anubarak stitches to be banned away. Vikings and Sergeant Hammer are out of here. I believe this is the first Dragonshire map of the day, if I remember correct. So we'll be able to see uh, the first time for today how, this, uh, how the drafts will be unfolding here. Very nice haircut again today. You are shining. Thank you. Too many tentacles. It's not even Disney Plus. Did they get much? Uh, they did not get much money in theaters, at least. It wasn't good. So that's. It's not on Disney Plus, and it has like shiny. If you go, if you Google right now, Ant Man Quantum Mania or whatever the new movie is, and put like when coming to streaming, I was reading an article that it was like there, there, there's no date. Like there's no actual date yet, and I feel like everything releases and it's like coming to streaming soon like i feel like that's a whole selling point so also i did shave my head today i usually shave my head on tuesdays because it's it's you know the day after my day off and i want to look good for all of you for the start of the week anyways all right sorry my apologies hogger lily malthiel hogger lily malthiel interesting Are they looking for a Diablo? It's three tanks, by the way, banned away by Germany. What is even left for tanks? Hold on, let me look. Uh, Tank-wise, so Arthas, Diablo, ETC, Malganus, May, Tyrael, Varian. I think those are like the, what, 12, seven, 12, seven, seven tanks available. All right, Brightwing and Varian. We could see a Chromie last pick from the side of Austria. A Chromie last pick might be the direction they go into for that burst. Could see a Hanzo as well. Hanzo is not banned and has not been played. Guaranteed Shogal pick. I want it so bad, Stark. I want it to be so bad. 
I just you just watched the first Ant Man and thought, wow, it's just so much better. I I didn't I didn't think they would do it. I didn't think they would do it. I did not think they would do it. I didn't. I really didn't think they would do it. They had the setup for it. I was like, Hogger Lily Malfield. That's a pretty good Cho Gall setup, actually. I just I didn't want to say it because I didn't want it to not happen. I'm so fucking happy right now. My day is like I'm good. I'm good. My day's made. Like, yeah, would I love a bunch of subs and bits? Sure. But I got a choke all for all of you at home. Tychus? Wait till they get alone. Oh, Kerrigan. Okay. Choke all with Lily. So strange. Not at all. Not at all. If you can't auto attack because Lily's blinding you, you just win the fight. Banning three tanks, which is hyper, which hyper displaced Shogal. Ah, I see. All right, uh, let's get into the casting screen. Y'all know the deal. Let me go ahead and write a uh, Dragon Shire. Uh, which team will win? Dragon Shire, get your gambles in. You know the deal, yo. Hey, listen. Gamble has begun. Thank you, Ash Mantle. All righty, are we going into a map number three? Are we going to be going? Are we going to be seeing a 2-0? Get your gambles in, as we've got Germany versus Austria. And we've already loaded on in to map number two. Malfield will be played by Hazuavs. On the Hogger, we've got Dino on the Lily and Darg... Darg... Dargit... Daragin... Darigant, I can't say the word. On the Cho Gall, that's going to be Dark Mock on the Cho and Death Knight on the Gall. Over on the right hand side of our map, we are looking for a potential. Map number three, through the side of Austria, we've got Sam on the Urel, Cran on the Brightwing, we've got Chris playing the Junkrat, Frobzy on the Varian, and uh, Mustika on this Kerrigan. You can see the level ones. The gamble is still going! By the time you hear this, you probably got about 30 seconds or so to get your gambles in. Will Cho'Gall win? Will Cho'Gall lose? That's really what we're gambling on. That's really all we're gambling. Light of Karabor for the Urel here. Usually it's Dauntless at level 1. You're going to be seeing more healing from the Kerrigan as Hogger gets a bounce around here. I think I said Kerrigan, but I meant uh, the Urel. All right. Yeah, it's pretty much da right. Yeah, da right. Da right on the Cho'Gall going on in. Uh, <laughs> it's actually Kerrigan landing a primal grasp and an upheaval, and Hogger will go down, but Varian to be traded. He's just not a real boy yet. He's just not a real boy. Easy all in. Go get him. Germany versus Austria. We have a 1 to 15.45 payout if Austria wins. And I gotta be honest, no caster bias for uh, for either country. But for the sake of games and the prediction, I hope Austria wins. An attempted, uh, attempted dive on DRL in mid lane as the phase shift does come through from Brightwing. She's got that hyper shift level 1 for the 8% extra healing. 6%, it used to be 8. It used to be 10. Another dive onto Cho'Gall. The upheaval in Primal Grasp does not uh, land. And Dark Mock and Death Knight are gonna jump, or excuse me, gonna be jumped onto by the Kerrigan. The body blocking's in place. The Surging Fist into the Concussion Mine. Frobsy's so very low. Kerrigan lands the combo, and that's a dead Cho'Gall. That is a dead Cho'Gall. It counts, I believe it counts for two kills, right? Dino avoiding. Oh no, that's a taunt from Varian. Chattering teeth chasing in. Dino goes down. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. That's. That's a rough go right there. That's a good chunk of experience for killing the Cho'Gall and the, and the, and the Lili. 10 8 6. Look like my bank account. Wait, you have $1,000 in your bank account? Lucky. Shot, taunt under the Cho'Gall. Kerrigan ravaging in. 
300 HP and Cho'Gal lives. Very and not able to get the, the, the kill with a lion's maw right there. How much damage did that do? I'm curious. Lion's fang, excuse me. 190. Lion's Maw and Lion's Fang. Always flip those two. Yurel jumps out onto Hazuob. He's going to get polymorphed by the Brightwing. Righteous Hammer onto Hazuob, but he's honestly fine. Like, he took, like, zero damage and all of that. Hogger holding bottom. We've got Varian in mid. <laughs> Meanwhile, over in the top lane, Brightwing, Kerrigan, Yurel. There's a polymorph. Avenging Wrath. Where's the Righteous Hammer to bop the, in, the mouthfeel around? Not even needed. Goomba Stomp. A hundred eighty sixty. Are you trying to give us your social security number? Because we need two more numbers. <laughs> I mean, if if you wanna if you want Twitch Chat to open up a you know a new credit card for you, we'd be happy to. Open it, put all of our bills on it, and you can just pay it off for us. Chogol looks normal size when you zoom out. Surging Fist into the Kerrigan. That's a lot of good damage onto Kerrigan. Actually, she tries to get some simulation shields. Uh, bouncing from Hogger. Face shift from Brightwing. I can't... No, oh, the sidestep! Oh! Chogol gets the kill on the Kerrigan. And the Brightwing was threatened, but... Tower shots are a little too much. Neither team has gotten a uh, Dragonite just yet. It is two to five in kills. 10 talent tiers on the way. So let's go ahead and cycle through the numbers, get an idea of what those look like. As the Dragonite is available to the members of Germany, Sam in mid lane needs to get out of here before going down as Varian comes in for a, no taunt actually. Wait, taunt in front of the gate. But the tower shots are onto the minion wave and Frobzy can't set up a kill for his team as the bottom lane is recontrolled by Junkrat and Brightwing. Face shift from Brightwing into the mid lane. She's got that peekaboo as well. You have 100k in your account? God, I wish. If I had $100,000 in my account, I'd be a very comfortable Twitch streamer. Financially. Social number? No idea what that, uh, what is that? It's a number given to you. By the government. And that's how they track you. They implant you with this number. No. <laughs> I'll never forget a judge one. Oh, wait, hold on. That's going to be a great combo on a Cho Gall. Unstoppable is going to be there. We also will be seeing the Twisting Nether, but I feel like this is more defensive than anything else. Twisting another ends. Chogo with the Surging Fist. Righteous Hammer into the wall. Rip Tire is going to get some damage, but no kill. The best I can offer is a hundred more billion dollars. Can I pay my taxes with it? Portapult in from Hogger. He gets immediately taunted. Polymorph by the Brightwing as well, but there's no sort of counter. Ed, uh, there's... Wait. Yurel? Does she get... Righteous Hammer? Or Avenging Ardent Defender? God dang it. Shogol on bottom may be threatened here. Kerrigan combo not working out. Shogol dropping to 50%. Kerrigan still ravaging him, but the enemy team is going to rotate down. That's a ton of damage onto Kerrigan. She gets hit with the last strike, so that will be a stack for Hazuobs. Frobzy getting low here. Frobzy should go down, and that's a, dra a water dragon from the Lili. God, I'm having insane deja vu. I feel like I've seen this before. <laughs> Chogol gets the channel in bottom. Ha, uh, ha, uh, seriously, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use shove. Hazuob's in mid, catches the experience, and he should get Dragonite. First Dragonite over to the side of Germany. The fire comes for you. Uh, Toku, thank you for the tier one for 26 months. I'll resend your alert when we get out of game. Thank you very much, bud. Kick on to the variant, I think it was, yeah. Yurel jumps in with the Ardent Defender. Second jump with the trait reset. Kick on to the Varian. Might have actually kind of helped Varian close the distance on Shogal. But the mid lane fort goes down. Lili will fall to the Kerrigan in bottom, but Hogger will get the counter kill onto Kerrigan. So 
One for one in the bottom lane. 13 talents here. First for the side of Germany as Urel pushes up top lane trying to soak things up. Late game experience, where is it coming from? About a 700 difference on Heroic. Mercenaries is a thousand or so difference. Minion favoring the side. So a lot of, uh, a lot of little gains that are going to be yielding this solid level lead for the side of Germany as Austria will get their Kerrigan back. Lili back for Germany as well. The Dragonite will expire. And we get a double fort phase. We get a double fort from this uh, from this Dragonite as Hazuab's ends this objective phase in the top lane and has a minion wave to push into the fort. Urel gonna chill in top to clear that out. The random shove off point, yeah. What a what a friendly what a friendly teammate. Oh, would you like to burn the the shove cooldown? We haven't used it all game. Sure, why not? When when's a good time? I don't know. When we're channeling something. Kerrigan combos avoided. The Ultralist doesn't get the stun. Twisting Nether from the Cho'Gal takes down this Kerrigan. The camp will still go to the Austrian members, but can they actually back away? Polymorph from the Brightwing. She's got a... She didn't have the range to get the Blink Heal. She had it available. There's one charge for the Brightwing. Just not able to get close enough to the Junkrat for that, for that little Blink Heal. And also level... We have the Twilight Nova, so the assumption is level 16... Leaden orb for the for the gall, which is gonna be a nice little stun. Hogger with the horde in gets a staggering blow into Frosby. Frobzy. Chogal going in with a surging fist, but they can't get a kill. Staggering blow doesn't get a hit onto Kerrigan. We have 136 stacks for the brute force on this hogger. Face shift from Brightwing, Peekaboo value as well. Mid lane keep still taking a bit of damage. Only losing like a 16th of the health bar. Top lane Urel. Working on a minion wave with Avenging Wrath for some splash damage onto the wave. Surging Fist in from the Cho'Go. Twilight Hammer. Chris is taking a lot of damage on that Junkrat. Has to use the Concussion Mind to back away. Kerrigan now displaced from the team. Nice Chrysalis to mitigate the staggering blow as here comes the Water Dragon from Lili. Yorel is back in here looking for a Righteous Hammer onto Dino, but it has to be used on Malfiel and Cho'Gal. That is a kill onto Kerrigan. A phase shift from Brightwing connects onto this Yorel. But it seems like Aust the Austrian members are really kind of stuck here in front of their keep, just defending, not able to do too much otherwise. Maldio jumps in, self cleanse as well to back away. Shogal comes in, there's a nice Twilight Hammer, Ardent Defender, last rights, mitigated by Ardent Defender. That's Hortipult in again from Hogger, but the displacement doesn't work out. Sam getting low will be taken down by the Cho'Gal. So Hogger for Yorel traded. Concussion Mine onto Cho'Gal as well. We have full trap build from the Junkrat. Kerrigan with 68 stacks on those sharpened blades, and she's trying to ravage around for some extra damage. Riptire from the Junkrat doesn't find as much value as I was expecting, and that's going to be another set of kills to the side of Germany. Cho'Gal chasing in. This should be keeping the mid lane going down. Bottom lane is a fantastic wave coming in. Twilight Hammer, Twisting Nether. Cho'Gal into a steel trap, and Cho'Gal will go down. But it is still a solid team kill for Germany. Hazoabs gets the top channel. Lili still pushing mid. Lili, I mean, how much siege does Lili have? I'm curious. Oh, <laughs> Malthiel hearths out of top to get some full HP and mana. We've got Hogger in mid lane. Okay. All right. Austria still technically in it. We could go to a map three. I know some of you are rolling your eyes, but you never know. You really never know. Malfiel gets the bottom lane channel. Varian gets the top. We have no available Dragonite to the side of Austria. 17 seconds on Lee Lee. Cho'Gal's back in and is, uh, he's going to be rotating to the camp, I would assume. No, he's going to pick up mid lane soak, I guess. Junkrat holding bottom lane. Malfiel will delay this out. Actually, Junkrat going to back away right now, just clearing out the wave and the Siege Giants. Mid, mid lane, Cho'Gal is uh, 1v3-ing, 2v3-ing. Kerrigan, Polymorph. That's a little shove from Cho'Gal as well. Dragonite's available. We have Brightwing going for the channel. Is there enough zoning from Kerrigan and friends? Brightwing doesn't go for the channel, actually. She's going to drop. It's going to be Kerrigan who goes inside. Malthiel looking for a flank into all of this. Dragonite does go over to the side of Austria. Hogger with a... Spin through the enemy with the hog wild. Lily gonna get kicked away. 
Malfeel seems to be the target of Varian. Junkrat goes down on the right side of our screen. Malfeel dead on the left. Big damage onto the Urel. She does not want to use the Ardent Defender, and she does utilize it a little late right there. Brightwing goes down on the north side of our screen to the Hogger. Urel trying to run through the traps to, to just get away from this Cho Gall, as it does have the Chattering Teeth. No Ardent Defender for 50 seconds. Lelia showed up as well. Avenging Wrath to try and get away. No Divine Steed for the Insta Mount. Gonna get a heal off of Cho'Gall, but yeah, that's still gonna be a dead Urel in the bottom. Top lane camp pushing onto the fort. Water Dragon. Varian will protect himself, but yeah, you're still dead. Oh, no, no, he's alive for now. No, he's dead now. All right, mid lane keep shell fall. Top lane fort is gonna go down. Dragonite gonna go do Dragonite things in the bottom lane, but this is potentially the beginning of the end for our third best of three of the day. No, it's not. Hey, Dragonite pushes up a wave into bottom lane. Hazuobs. Who's got the better 1v1? Ultralis will not connect right there. Hazuobs taking a ton of damage. Kerrigan ravaging in. Another ravage from Kerrigan. Face shift from Bright. Respect the 1v1, Ker. Gotta respect the 1v1. Mid lane got pushed up. Don't know what that words are. Don't know what that words are. Oh, goodbye, Lily in the bottom lane. She does get the water dragon out. Kerrigan will be traded. Brightwing goes down. Junkrat falls to the hogger. Oh, God, it's just murder everywhere. Triple kill. 21 to 13 in the kills. Chogall. Oh, okay, that's Twisting Nether blink forward from the 20 talent tier. Varian protected. Banner comes down. Hogger with a bounce. Varian shall live. All right. Germany playing with their food. Chogall getting shoved back into tower range right there. Hogger gets a decent bounce out. But you're out. Oh, nice staggering blow. I also think there was a, the, um, the, the Twilight Hammer used at the exact same moment. Catapults on the core. Cleared out by Urel. Alrighty. As Ja Rule once said, it's a murder. Wasn't Ja Rule part of the whole, like, uh, fire festival debacle? Banner of Ironforge for the very and at level 16. We've got a sliver of experience to go before 20 talent tier for Austria. Seraphim, we're gonna be seeing Demoralizing Shout. Okay. Blink heal upgrade for the Brightwing, Invisible Friends, Extra Oomph, and Psionic Shift. Shogal dives in really quickly. The banner cleared out. That will be Varian trying to back away as well. Riptire from the Junkrat looking for multiple enemies here to get a full reset. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get double reset up with Shogal. Hogger split from the team. He is going to be on the uh, top right of our screen right here. But look at Kerrigan at the bottom center of your screen. She's actually going to get the blink out in time. Last right supplied. Blink heal there from the Brightwing. Not enough. Twisting Nether from the Cho'Gall. Righteous Hammer. Or excuse me. Twilight Hammer. No control from Hogger. Will solidify the kill into Junkrat. Brightwing trying to blink around. Sam gets into the core. Hogger almost getting the kill into Brightwing. As Germany continues to play with their food instead of hitting the core. Varian jumps out onto this Malfield. Yeah, I think he had Demoralizing Shout right there utilized onto the enemy. The core shielding is gone. Malfield falls. Does he have the 20 buyback? He does. He can actually buy back immediately, and he does. Water Dragon from Lili gets the kill into Varian. Hogger will go down. The core still being barraged by some Siege Giants and actually not the Catapult because it can't get into range right there. And this is Germany continuing to toy with Austria at the end, but it is going to be a 2-0 to Germany. GG, well played.
Alright, bet's been paid out. There's your talents. 